Hi friends. I have been sitting at my keyboard for hours trying to write the message that I want to send out on the 1st of June. I send out an email every month and there's just so much going on in the world right now. I don't even know where to start. I, like you, am brokenhearted watching our nation burn and fall apart like this. As I'm sure you'll agree, we've gone through so much in the last two months with COVID and quarantine, and now to see all of the problems that we're seeing in the news right now, I just, um, I'm feeling, I'm sure like you are, just torn and sad and scared and, um, I, I just didn't even know where to start writing, so I thought I would talk instead. Um, I started writing the email so many times with headlines like, I can't breathe, and I just felt like I was stealing words from a man that, um, that don't belong to me. I can breathe. I do have my breath. I've never had to fight for my breath. So... I deleted and tried something else, lighthearted, and that didn't seem right either. So I guess I just want to put into words that I don't have any words <laughs> right now. A lot of you have asked me, because I'm pretty vocal on social media, if I am against the cops. And I want to go on record as saying I'm not... A lot of the work we do in prisons, we are working with the officers as well, and there are way more good officers and good cops than there are bad. I just want to see justice served for those four cops in particular who were clearly in the wrong. And I want to see George Floyd and his family um, validated and seen as the human beings that they are. He did not deserve to die, and he certainly did not deserve to die like that. So I hope justice is served there, but I'm not against the cops. I also want to say I do understand the need to scream and punch and fight when for hundreds of years you haven't been heard. I don't know what it is. I, I wonder if sometimes I lived another life as a black person and maybe even as a gay person because from the time I was little, I grew up in a really conservative family and from the time I was small, I've always had a really big heart for people of color and and gay people. And I, I don't know why that is, but I do. and. I guess I just see people. I guess I just see people. And I don't understand why we have to be against each other. I don't understand why skin has to be a factor that makes us feel superior. I don't I don't get that. I spend a lot of my time in the sun and I've probably spent thousands of dollars trying to get my skin darker, truth be told. Um I just I, I just love people. I just love people and I do believe in this in the core of my being that we are all created equal that we all deserve the same comforts in life we all um, deserve to stand on equal ground and we don't it, it is a world where because of my whiteness I have a lot of privilege I don't have to worry if I get pulled over that I'm gonna immediately go to jail or be beaten or God forbid killed. I don't have to teach my children all of the rules that they have to follow when they leave the house that black parents have to teach their children. And it, folks, it's just a truth. It's, it is the truth that that's the normal that, that people of color live with. So I, don't, I really don't even know what I wanna say but in this email that I'm about to send that has this video, I'm gonna ask a favor. On um, Wednesday, <laughs> I will turn 57. 
I've got a little prop right here. Apparently it's the best, I don't know, steak, chicken, sauce available. A little vinegary, probably like me. Um, during the month of June, I'm going to teach free classes online. I'm still concerned about COVID and a lot of my students are. So I'm gonna continue a class uh, schedule online. Mondays and Wednesdays, yoga, 10 a.m. Tuesdays, uh, total body conditioning. And most Fridays and Saturdays, I will also offer fitness classes. And I'm gonna throw in a few surprise Sunday yoga classes. So for that, what I would ask is that you give my nonprofit, Yoga Forward, $57. I need a thousand people during the month of June to donate $57 to Yoga Forward. And Yoga Forward is the nonprofit that takes yoga where it isn't. Yoga Forward is taking yoga into prisons, into the Utah State Prison specifically, and I would love us to be in more prisons. We are serving the people there who have made mistakes and are trying to deal with their time in incarceration in a more peaceful way. And we're trying to give them skills as certified yoga teachers to be able to take something out back into the community with them. And so far, our track record is pretty amazing. At Yoga Forward is serving school teachers. During this time of quarantine, teachers have been so overworked and so overstressed and we've been offering them daily movement and meditation sessions over Zoom. And now we have over 63 videos banked on a YouTube channel specifically for our educators. And they're really great for everybody. You should check that out. It's on our Yoga Assets YouTube page. I'll link it up. We are also spending a lot of our time and energy working with the LGBTQ community and helping them feel supported and also more connected within their community. So $57, that's what I ask in exchange for free classes the whole month of June, six classes a week and more. If you go to my YouTube channel, Denise Drew's YouTube, you can get all the free classes you can do. Um, and that's, that's what I ask. So hope it's okay that I couldn't put any of that into writing, but I just want to say, be well, be safe, be kind to each other. Let's stop being against each other. Let's just see each other as human beings. We all have a truth. We all have a purpose. We're all equal. I just I just would love to see a day when we can when we can walk that path together. And to me, yoga, more than anything I've seen in my life, paves the way to unity, to connection, to understanding each other. Okay, thanks for listening. Namaste.